Good day and welcome to Kitty's Corner. Today I want to talk to you about mommy guilt and a gross alien called the rat tail maggot. What on earth am I talking about? Stay till the end of this video to find out. Children challenge us in so many ways. But for me, one of the biggest challenges is overcoming mommy guilt. I get mommy guilt over everything. They eat too much. They eat too little. I yell too much. I discipline too much. I discipline too little. I let them get away with murder. I let them watch too much TV. I give them too much sugar. They got hurt on my watch. They were drinking from the dog's water. They were licking the pavement. Whatever it is, mommy guilt is always there. And sometimes things can happen that really put us in that mommy guilt mode. It can really affect your sleep and not just your sleep, your overall well-being. Yes, we should ask ourselves, am I doing the best job that I possibly can? I can tell you one thing. It's just a good mom that will ask, am I doing a good enough job? Mom guilt can affect a lot of things. It can start affecting your body in a very negative way. You can actually start becoming sick. This coming from someone that stresses over the smallest details. But the truth is, I know this. And because I know this, I can actually do something about it. One of the biggest causes of mom guilt are expectations. Like being driven to be a successful career person, a mother can be driven to be a successful parent. But it's not that easy. Because what is a successful parent? Does it mean your children will never get sick? Does it mean your children will never be naughty? Does it mean your children will never eat something gross and pass a very disgusting alien-like creature? If you want to know about this curious alien-like creature, stay till the very end to hear my mommy guilt story. Motherhood myths can also put pressure on us to become perfect mommies. These are things like reaching a certain milestone at a certain age. Having your child potty trained and speak properly, behave properly. The list is endless. And very often we expect ourselves to tick everything on that list. We need to have grace with ourselves and just learn from our mistakes. It doesn't matter how many books you read or how many professionals you follow. The first step is to realize you will never be a perfect mom. Does it mean you're not a good mom? No, not at all. We just really need to have a little bit of grace with all the mothers out there. If you are trying to be a good mom, you'll never intentionally try to hurt your child. Obviously, you are going to make the choices that you think is best for their health. Mommy, breathe. We all feel like failures sometimes. Next, I will give you a few tips that can help you overcome this mom guilt. And I will also post the reference in the description box. Sometimes it's necessary to just step outside. Ask your partner if you can have a moment, if they can look after the baby. Go make yourself a cup of coffee and sit under the tree and just relax a bit. Number two, share your responsibilities. If you have a partner, ask them to help you with some of the chores that might not be on their list. If you don't ask for help, you will never get help. You cannot be angry at your partner if you do not tell them how you feel. You can also not assume that they understand or know what you are going through. Remember, your partner doesn't necessarily keep track of everything that you do. All the extra nappies that you have to change. All the extra bottles that you need to wash. The extra clothes. The dirty dishes. So instead of bottling it up, getting frustrated and yelling at your partner, tell your partner what's going on. Make a cup of coffee, sit down and have a decent conversation. Don't attack your partner. Remember, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. The third thing you can do, and it's not always possible for everyone, is to surround yourself with people that are in your camp. People that support you, regardless of how dirty your house is, if you haven't done the dishes. The people that will say, I don't care what your house looks like. Is your baby fit? Are you happy? Because those are the things that are important. 
again, we have this expectation of keeping our houses clean, doing all the laundry, the dishes, everything must be perfect. The nursery must be set up. It must be clean the whole time. Your child will never eat from the floor. And these are the things that are typically going to happen. The fourth thing that is very important is avoid the bragging game. Parents are notorious for bragging about their kids and it's easy to get caught up in it. Resist the urge to engage since making comparisons often lead to feelings of inadequacy and guilt. The next time some mom wants to compare how early your kids started talking or how long you breastfeed your babies, politely change the subject. The fifth thing that you should do is nurture your relationships. Yes, your friends and family will take a back seat if there's a baby, and even all the children if there's a new baby in the house. Make time for these relationships. Even if it's just 10 minutes of quality time, put your phone away and for 10 minutes spend intense quality time with that person that really is important to you. You will be amazed at how far a 10 minute quality conversation can carry you. If you have mom guilt to the point where you feel like hurting yourself or even your children, it's time to speak to a professional. Society should really stop judging mommies that are going through a tough time and instead try to help them. It's okay to say you need help. If you really feel the need to pack your bags and just disappear, then it's time to see a professional. I will be honest, that was one of the best decisions I made. There was a point after my second child was born, I was pregnant with my third, and it really felt like I could pack my bags and run away. Luckily, I made the decision to phone a psychiatrist and I got help. Within three months, I felt a lot better. I didn't even need to go back. It was just that I had to communicate my frustrations to someone other than my partner that could understand what I was going through and that could sympathize with me. The fact that I felt heard made all the difference. I could go back to my partner and talk to him rather than accuse him and attack him regarding the things that I felt was not going well in our household. And now what you've been waiting for, the gross footage of the rat-tailed maggot. I was absolutely distraught when that alien thing came out of one of my children. And immediately I felt like a bad mother because I should have seen the signs. There was scratching and itching. There was the upset stomach, the occasional vomiting. And no, I didn't pick it up. Even worse, I don't know where it came from. Now to give you a little bit of info on this horrendous creature. Occasionally, cases have been documented of human intestinal myases caused by the rat-tailed maggot. Myosis being the infection with the fly larvae, usually occurring in tropical and subtropical areas. The rat-tailed maggot is the larvae of a drone fly, and these drone flies usually lay their eggs in very dirty water. Now we live on a small holding, so my children play outside quite often, and yes, we do have dirty water, especially after a good week of rain. So it shouldn't be all that shocking that my child got infected with such a thing. But I was absolutely horrified. And of course, I had such mom guilt for not looking after them, for not making sure they didn't play in filthy water. And of course, worst of all, having guilt for not realizing the symptoms of the intestinal myosis. Even though it's pretty harmless to humans, it's absolutely gross. So our whole family had to do the deworming, except for me and the baby. She's still too young. As a side note, remember that you can start deworming your children after their first birthday. So the point of me sharing this gross story with you is that I wanted to take the opportunity to tell you, Mommy, these things happen to the best of us. We all try to be the best parents, but we cannot avoid every single bad thing. May Abba bless you and your family. May He protect you and keep you healthy. If you are feeling mom guilt, may He be your comfort. And mommy, whatever you are doing, just know that you are doing a good job. So 
take a breath, make a cup of coffee, run away if you have to. I am a high society. <laughs> anyway.